Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's a rainy, rainy day here in Arkansas. Uh, gloomy, gloomy, gloomy. We had a big storm roll through last night. Dropped a bunch of rain. I am on my way to town today to go get some fuel and water and a couple of toiletries and stuff like that. Decided to take advantage of the rainy day and go ahead and run some errands. That and also I am taking two days off from the physical work. Uh, trying to let my body heal a little bit. Yesterday we uh, unloaded all of those pallets of concrete off the trailer. Me, Mel, and Gary. Um, 35 bags of pallet uh, times three. And it was 90 2.5 pounds a piece or something like that so it was a whole whole lot of weight about 9,000 something pounds and my wrist feels like it's about to fall off today Gary had a a wrist brace that he let me use to unload it, it had some metal bars in there which helped out a little bit but uh, I'm feeling it today so I'm gonna go to Walmart and get me my own wrist brace today. Try to isolate this wrist so it can heal. Uh, my right arm is just done between the tennis elbow and my wrist being messed up now. I decided to give myself a couple of days to kind of recover a little bit before I start on the next project. Uh, depending on weather, it will depend on what that project is. I still need to put the two windows in the cabin the tiny house and uh, I need to build the nesting boxes for the chickens and uh, a couple other little things little odds and end things that need to happen I need to build the barn door for the tiny house in between the bedroom and the uh, bathroom area so it's quite a bit of stuff I need to get done but I've been going for about a month straight now around the clock so I think it's important for me to take a break and let my body uh, recover a little bit and uh, I put out the video of the bathroom uh, completion yesterday it got a lot of great responses from everybody that watched it and uh, if you haven't watched it go check it out it turned out phenomenal in the comments today let me know what y'all thought about it and if y'all went over there and watched it um, good video it was a good video and the results were amazing in my opinion uh, it's a uh, it's a showstopper it's a showstopper of a bathroom probably the nicest bathroom I've ever had to be honest with you and uh, it's kind of cool that I built it with my own two hands and uh, this video also uh, kind of highlights how I build and uh, my creative process with uh, kind of doing some of this stuff how I kind of build on the go and uh, as it builds it kind of develops into its own kind of vision or whatever and how I kind of uh, will kind of regroup and change plans as I'm building stuff uh, by ideals and stuff that kind of pop into my head as I start seeing it because I'm a visual person once I start putting it together and stuff and I see it and see it in the space it uh it allows me to kind of get the creative juices flowing and uh, kind of make changes on the fly to better the design. And uh, I like it a lot. Um, I got a lot of comments about do I hit my head on the cabinet behind the toilet? And no, the cabinet behind the toilet is not as wide as the back of the toilet. So um, the only way you could possibly hit your head on that is if you slung your head back real hard about that far and hit it like that um, it doesn't overhang the toilet or anything like that I designed it to where it's only uh, I think it's six inches deep I think it's only six inches deep or whatever so it doesn't even come to the edge of the back of the toilet so there's no way that you could possibly hit it whatsoever um, I'm sure on camera it looks like it's further out or, or something but it's not um, that was all thought about 
whenever I decided to do that. Uh, it's just like uh, the same things that you buy from Walmart or whatever to stick over your toilet for extra storage or whatever. It's, it's just a custom one. And uh, it's a little bit wider than the ones that you'd buy at Walmart. I think they're only like that, that thick. This is about six to eight inches. Uh, but it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't uh, come past the tank. So there's no danger of that. I think it turned out really good. Uh, I'm happy that the bathroom is completely done. I'm happy that the kitchen is completely done. Uh, I'll be working on a video tomorrow for this weekend for Come On Homesteading. Um, that will be some Uber uh, stuff. And then after that one, I will edit out the uh, final kitchen video. And uh, that one's gonna be a game changer too, guys. So definitely be on the lookout for that one. And uh, Uber put some work in before Uber left. So uh, that that's probably gonna be a pretty good video too. A lot of footage there. Uh, did quite a few different things with Uber in that last two weeks, trying to get some stuff done before Uber left. Uh, also got the Harley dropped off at the shop yesterday and uh, talked with that guy. He really liked it. He thought it was a pretty cool bike and uh, it's going to be a fun little project. And uh, hopefully we can get that thing going before spring starts kicking real good and uh, I can get out with my buddies and do a little ride and be able to uh, have something else to kind of just uh, be able to kind of get away from the mountain a little bit and just uh, relax and uh you know, be able to kind of have a little separation between work and, and, and life a little bit because when you do this YouTube stuff and, you know, you do it at your home, um, it's real hard sometimes to get that separation between work and day-to-day uh, -day life. You know, like when you go to your normal nine-to-five job, you go to work and when you get off work, you come home and there's separation. Um, in my life, I don't have that. Uh, my work is my life. So um, it's nice to have those little distractions to kind of separate the two where it actually feels like you get a day off. Uh, update on the baby goats. Uh, they're doing amazing. Uh, seen them this morning. Went and checked on them after the storm and everything. They are doing really, really well. Everybody is healthy. Uh, I'm going to be looking into getting all their stuff for their shots and all that stuff here soon. Um, it's about time to uh, do some warmer and stuff like that with some of the animals there on the mountain. So probably looking to getting all of that stuff today. Uh, I did pick up some more chicken feed yesterday when I was uptown dropping off the Harley. I'll be picking up some goat feed and a couple other things today. Uh, like I said, I'm taking a day off as far as the manual labor stuff, but I'm not really taking the day off off. Uh, like I said, I still got to edit a video tonight. I'm going to try to get the uh, Fired Up Friday edited so it can come out tomorrow um, of the big get-together that we did uh, last weekend, the big barbecue that we had at the cabin. I think that's going to end up being an amazing video. Uh, I recorded some of the stuff with the extra activities that were going on, but uh, it's primarily going to be all of the grilling and cooking and all of that other stuff. And trust me, guys, I grilled and cooked a ton of groceries. A ton of groceries. I think four slabs of ribs, 10 pounds of chicken wings, bratwurst, hot dogs, and even some Beyond sausage, uh, that plant-based sausage and stuff for Mel over there because with her gout and stuff um, she has to had change her diet a little bit so I, I juiced them up a little bit and uh, made those taste good for her and uh, that was just a good event and it was also a good test for trying out the kitchen and uh, the new grill area and all that other stuff to kind of see how it flowed and functioned and, and I couldn't have been happier with the way that it is um, also need to get a couple more vegetables and stuff like that at Walmart. I can't wait to get my garden area done so I can grow my own vegetables. I'm looking forward to that. That's another project that's coming up very, very soon. 
uh, all of those windows and stuff that I got from my uh, MT Homestead's job, uh, that's going to be a future greenhouse on a uh, come on mountain. I'm going to do it out of all the windows. And uh, that'll help me be able to control airflow through there and all of that. And uh, it'll also be very unique. And I'm going to have to kind of custom build it around the sizes of the windows and stuff. So I'm really looking forward to that challenge. Uh, I really like doing the repurpose, reuse type stuff. Uh, it takes a little bit longer because you gotta gotta get creative with your builds and stuff. But that's that's the type of stuff I love to do. And whenever you're done with it, there's not another one like it in the world. And that to me is like what I really enjoy is knowing that what I built, there's not another one out there like it. So. I enjoy it just like my bathroom there I guarantee you there's not another bathroom or tiny house in the world that's like mine um, might be one similar but there's not one like mine because it's a custom build that's the cool thing about building that way is uh you get one-offs you know something that nobody's ever seen before uh, there is a YouTube channel called tiny house nation or something like that whenever I do get the tiny house done uh, I do plan on contacting them and uh, seeing if they want to come toward the tiny house. Uh, I think they will because um, it will definitely be unique and different. So we'll see. I think it will be pretty cool to, uh, if y'all follow them, reach out to them and tell them about the tiny house and maybe they'll contact me. But uh, I think it would be cool to kind of highlight it and kind of show it and all of that. So pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. But yeah, just uh, taking it easy today. I gotta get some fuel and stuff like that um, while I'm in town. My plan is to get enough stuff that I don't have to leave the mountain again for at least a week or two. Because uh, after I take these uh, one or two days off from the manual labor, it's time to get back at it because as I look around, all the trees are blooming, the grass is green, spring is coming, even though it's not officially spring yet, it's pretty close. And uh, hopefully they don't have Uber for too long um, because I need to start prepping the yard and that area that I cleared out where the chickens are and the, where we had the bonfire and all of that um, and get it ready for grass seed. I've already got the grass seed. They're proud of that grass seed. Boy, I had no idea grass cost so much money. It was $300 for a 50 pound bag of uh, Bermuda. Uh, grass. I was just like, wow. And the guy told me to plant it on April the 1st. So at $300 for 50 pounds, I'm going to listen to everything that he says and I'm not going to plant it until April the 1st even though I want to plant it right now. Uh, he said it's too early and we still might get another frost. So, and we've had a mild winter this year. A very mild winter. But uh, I don't want to put all of that grass seed down and all of that money and then a frost come through and destroy it all. So I'm gonna listen to the professionals and, uh, and I'm gonna wait before I put it out. But yeah, that's about all that's going on today, guys. I hope everybody is having an amazing Thursday. Hopefully it's uh, dry where you're at. The weather is beautiful. I hope y'all took some steps closer to your goals this week. I hope that y'all have uh, picked somebody and done something nice for them this week. And I definitely, definitely hope that y'all kept it real. That's important, guys. You gotta keep it real. Love every single one of y'all. See y'all tomorrow. Come on.